Hmm, what is all this? Well, I've been testing these enclosures with a couple of older SSDs that I've since moved on from. I wanted to see how they compared to these purpose-built SSDs. We love SSDs because they're fast, right? Well, I've been using a variety of external SSDs for some time now, and I've had multiple occurrences where these external SSDs have slowed down to an absolute crawl and been slower even than a traditional hard drive. While testing these two enclosures, this drive in particular slowed down to about five times the rate that it should have been performing at. The performance was so bad that I tested it several times. I even swapped it over into this other enclosure to see if that would make a difference. You're not going to notice these slowdowns if you're just doing light operations, if you're just maybe editing an image, or maybe you're working with documents. But where you will notice a slowdown is when you're copying large batches of files over from one drive to another. Say we're talking about batches of 30, 40, 50 gigabytes or larger. But then within a few minutes, it was back up to speed. So how did that happen? Well, here's the tip. These little processes that keep these drives running the, you know, at optimum speed, well, they need time. And if you encounter this, well, I have a tip that might actually fix it for you. How do you do that? Well, here's what you do. Plug it in your computer and just let it sit. I plugged my SSDs into my laptop and even let it fall asleep and it seems to do its thing. It just lets those little maintenance processes take place to get the drive back up to spec. Of course, mileage is going to vary, but, but just take a look at the difference from when this drive slowed down to its performance after being plugged into my laptop for about 20-25 minutes. Here's how long it took to copy 30 gigabytes of data. The first 10 gigabytes took a minute and 40 seconds. It hit the 20 gigabyte mark at three minutes and 20 seconds. And for the full 30 gigabytes, it took five minutes. Okay, now look just how big a difference this is after I gave this drive some time to kind of heal itself. The first 10 gigabytes took 25 seconds. It hit the 20 gigabyte mark in 45 seconds. And for the full 30 gigabytes, it took a minute and five seconds. That is a huge difference. Now, I'm not faulting any of these SSDs. It could be more of a problem of how I use them. But it is extremely frustrating when you're copying files over and you see performance that is, well, frankly, even slower than a traditional hard drive. If you encounter this, I really think you'd give this a try. To wrap this up, if your SSD is performing noticeably slower than it should, just try it. Just plug it in for 20, 30 minutes at least. Look, it's not going to hurt it if you leave it plugged in even longer. It's just going to give even more time for those things to do what they need to do in there. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you have any tips, questions, or comments, please leave those down below. And otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.